Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to find the slope of a graph. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Here we are at the first problem for how to find slope from a graph. When talking about slope, we have to remember that slope is equal to the rise of an equation divided by the run of the equation, or the change in the y values divided by the change in the x value. So in order to find the slope of this equation for the first problem, we have to find two points that are on the line. In order to do that, you have to find spots on this line that cross the grid exactly. So you're looking at points of intersection where it crosses the grid perfectly. A good example of this would be right here at this point, and then right here at this point, and then right here at this point, and so on, because they cross the grid perfectly. The points in between them are not good because they do not cross the grid at an exact spot. Now looking at our points, we have to figure out how we go from one point to the next. So what we're going to do is, we are going to draw how much we go up by and how much we go over by each time. So here we go up, here we go over. Here's our rise, then our run. Here's our rise, then our run. So then we have to find what is the rise and then what is the run. For this equation, our rise each time is 1 because we're going up 1. So this is up 1, this is up 1. This is up one. So we go up one each time. So the rise will be one. Then we have to find the run. So how much do we go over by? We go over by one, two. So we go over two spaces. One, two, two spaces. One, two, two spaces. So the run has to be two. Now we know that slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. So we just take our rise, which is one, and we will write it on top of our fraction, and then our run, which is 2, and we will write it on the bottom of our fraction. So our slope for this problem is 1 half, or 1 divided by 2. For number 2, we are given a new equation on the coordinate grid. In order to find the slope for this, we once again have to find the rise, and we also have to find the run. So in order to do that, we are going to pick points on the line that cross the grid perfectly. So if you look at our grid here, and our line crosses right there perfectly, here perfectly, here, here, and so on. You could also go backwards if you wanted to. Now when we do this, we have to find the rise, and we also have to find the run. So we have to find how much we go up or down by, and how much we go over by. So in order to go from one point to the next in our example, we start at this point, we go down one, we go over. We go down one, we go over two. Down one, over two, and so on. So our rise this time is down, and because we're going down, that means the rise has to be negative. So we're going down one, so our rise is negative one. So the rise will be negative one, and then the run, we go over one, two spaces one, two spaces. So the run is two, just like in the first problem. The slope is the rise divided by the run, so we will do the rise on top, which is negative one, divided by the run, which is positive two. So our slope for number two is negative one half. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.